So this is a short story I like to call my all white kitchen was looking a little boring and a little sad and I decided that the all white kitchen look had come to an end. So on a whim, I picked up a paintbrush and decided to make a drastic change. channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Emily and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my paint kitchen so I was feeling really restless with the kitchen just it looked really boring it's been white the entire time we've lived here I did paint the countertops I have a video about painting the countertops so I did paint those white those were previously not white but the cabinets have been white and when we moved in the handles were like a gray color and so it's always been white and I left it white because the kitchen does not get much natural light at all. The kitchen is on the back of the house and you get a little light during the day, but really not a lot. So I kept it white because I felt like if I painted it a color, it would be too dark. But I've been seeing people on Instagram that I follow that have pink kitchens and I thought, you know, that's just really cute. This house was built in 1960 and a pink kitchen just really reminds me of kind of like the 1950s so you know it's not the house wasn't built in the 1950s but it was right at the end of the 1950s and I thought that would be really fun to do a very kitschy vintage kitchen and so I decided to find a paint color and just go for it it was kind of a whim I kind of did it spur of the moment but I love it I love how it turned out I was a little bit worried when I first started painting that I would not like it but I actually really really love it so I'm gonna show you I already showed you some clips but I'm gonna show you a little bit of an in-depth so first I wanted to show you the contact paper that I put up. It's going to be very hard for you to see it. I don't know what's up with my autofocus. It's going to be very hard for you to see it right now because there's window coming through. There's light coming through this window, but I've already kind of showed you clips and I'll show you another one, but I got a peel and stick contact paper. I actually got it for another project, but I thought that it would look really nice with the pink. I didn't want to paint this whole inside of the window pink because I felt like it would be too dark. It would just be too much. Plus, I wanted something to kind of break up the pink somewhere for your eye to rest. And I really, really love this paper. And it looks so cute with the decorations behind it. And it also looks really cute with the electric chandelier. Um, the electric chandelier is like the jewelry in here. And it just looks so nice with the pink and the paper behind it. It just, it, it turned out so perfect. One of the quandaries that I had with the whole pink kitchen thing was the hardware. Like I said, when we moved in, the cabinets were white. The hardware was a gray color. When I repainted or when I re when I painted the countertops, put in this backsplash here, when I did all of that a few years ago, I just spray painted over the gray and spray painted it all black. But it chipped really, really bad and it looked really horrible. So I actually bought a gold or brass type spray paint because I thought, well, brass will go really well with pink. But the problem is the, all the, I have a ton of copper in here and then the hardware on the other side, which I'm not painting the cabinets that are built in over there, but the hardware on those cabinets is black. And I just felt like with nothing else in here being an antique brass or an antique gold color that it was just not going to look right. So then I was like, I'll just do silver spray paint. So I went and exchanged my spray paint for silver and I had bought like a hardening um, liqueur spray paint to try to seal it. But then I realized that the original hardware was silver. Underneath the chipping spray paint, underneath the several coats of spray paint, it was this really shiny silver color. So I looked up how to get spray paint off of something and 
I'm a little bit worried that I may have ruined my crock pot, but <laughs> if you get water at a rolling boil, put all of your pieces in the crock pot, boil water on the stove, get it to a rolling boil, pour it over top and turn your crock pot on high, it will cause the paint to peel. So who knew? <laughs> but I was able to pull and scrape the paint off of all of the handles. And I feel like this really shiny silver goes so well on these cabinets. Now, originally these cabinets, I think they were um, just one knob on top or if maybe not even one because they have these little pockets. I know you can't see it, but they have these pockets down here. So I don't know what the original cabinet knobs looked like. I don't think these are the original ones, but somebody had already drilled the holes for them and I wasn't gonna redo all that. So I think this looks just so good with the pink. It turned out so much better. It looks so much more vintage. I feel like an antique bron uh, brass or a gold would have looked more modern, more new, but the silver with the pink, it just looks so 1950s to me. Something else that I was undecided about when I was painting was whether or not I was gonna go all the way to the top up here and I'm really glad that I decided not to because I think it would have just been too much. And like I said, this room is really dark and I didn't want to overwhelm the room with color, but I needed some color. So I left that top part blank and thought it would be a great place to continue my copper mold wall. Just continue to put little molds up here. I've got some that are similar size up here and then I recently found the seashell which you saw in the beginning it's kind of cut out of frame but the seashell one it was perfect for that little awkward spot up there but eventually I'm going to get a few more to just line the entire top. I also thought about doing plates but I decided it would be more fun to carry the copper and also how nice does the copper look against the pink? I guess because it's almost like a rose gold and rose gold looks really good with pink but I absolutely love how that looks. I did decide to pull out some of my vintage items to have them on display on my countertop. I really don't like a lot of appliances on my countertop. The only appliance that gets to stay is the KitchenAid mixer and then of course I have my dish drying mat which I just bought a new one from Aldi and it kind of it's lemon so it's kind of cute with the theme. But I wanted I like to keep my counters kind of like more decorative decorate more decorative than having just a bunch of clunky appliances that's just that's just how I like it so I pulled out my really pretty Pyrex dishes these are my two favorites I thrifted the top one and then the bottom one I bought on eBay because the pink are really hard to come by and they're a little bit more expensive but she's pink and she goes so well in here so I have them just sitting here on the counter and then also, I already, I've had the mushroom cookie jar. I've had this thing out on the counter for a while. And I still think it goes because it's so cute and just like sweet, charming vintage. I still think it goes. But I brought out my little dog. This is a Lefton dog, Mr. Toodles cookie jar. And my husband bought him for me years ago it was back before we even got married he got her for me for christmas one year and i just love this little cookie jar it's so cute it's so vintage it fits the theme of the kitchen so well so she had to come out and i she's featured beside the mushroom jar and i did fill both of them up with cookies for the kids <laughs> i'm still on the hunt for something to put right here there's like a blank space and there's also a hole in the wall because i used to have like a pegboard um, the coffee mug holder right here, but I never put anything on it because there's just not space to hang anything on it. So I took that out and I need something to put here, but I'm just leaving it blank for now. But I put this little picture on the wall. Now I've had this picture for a while. This is something my mom gave me and I finally put it in a frame, but she's just so sweet. I like to call her my homemaking muse because she's just so sweet with her little ironing board and it's just such a pretty little illustration. So I thought she looked very sweet featured right there. And then of course I have my strawberry teapot that I use on the regular and I decided to let that stay over here as well. As of right now, I have not carried the pink over to any other area of the kitchen. I have a lot of paint left over, so I may at some point, I just don't want it to be too overwhelming. 
But I did decide to bring a few pink touches over here. So I had this um, mug rack that was already painted pink and it was in my daughter's room. And I had another one, so I switched it out. So that adds a touch of pink. And then I decided to put my coffee in my little vintage pink canister that I've had for a while. That kind of brings a little bit of the pink over here since there isn't a lot of pink over here. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing my pink kitchen. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Take care.